usually the videos that I create are encouraging and positive and gentle. Today, I think, is going to be a little different. This is more of a challenge for self-examination, especially for those who identify themselves as Christians. Now, if you don't strongly identify yourself as a Christian, you might find this entertaining. You might even agree with me. But um, this isn't really specifically aimed at, at those who do not consider themselves followers of Jesus. Uh, I'm doing this video actually because I was encouraged by my brother to do it after a conversation we had. So I'm just going to share my thoughts on this and see if the Lord has something to say to you about this. If you think about the years that Jesus spent on earth, the people who opposed him, the people who orchestrated his crucifixion, those were the religious leaders. And Jesus warned his followers to beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. What is the leaven of the Pharisees? Well, I'm thinking that if you look at the Pharisees, they followed the letter of the law, but they missed the Holy Spirit. They knew rules and traditions, but they missed the move of God. They didn't see the big picture. They had their own agenda. They had their own idea of what God was like. They had their own preferences of who they would listen to. And they ended up opposing God, who was right in their midst offering them salvation. What does that have to do with us? Well, here are things that trouble me. Let's see if they trouble you. It bothers me when people follow Christian leaders rather than following God themselves, listening for the Holy Spirit themselves, reading the Bible for themselves. If you don't know God's word, then you don't know how God thinks. Now, I don't, I'm not an expert on the Bible, but I do read it. And God is pretty clear what he likes and what he doesn't like. And so if you don't know what the Bible says, then you're following your own preferences. You're not following Jesus. And in Romans 12, we're warned not to be conformed by the spirit of the world. You will be affected by your own personal preferences and by the dictates of the culture if you are not reading God's word and allowing him to influence your thinking. Here's another challenge. Are you different from the culture? Do you stand out? We're told to be salt and light in our generation. If you're not salty, if you're not bringing light to the darkness, then your faith is probably more coming out of your intellect or your tradition or your um, era that you grew up in. But it's not necessarily inspired by the Holy Spirit. Is there power in your prayers? If your prayers are driven by your connection with the Lord Jesus Christ, you won't get everything you ask for, but you'll see power and you'll be inspired to pray for things that are bigger than yourself and your family. Do you find yourself getting angry at injustice in the culture? Jesus turned over the money changers tables in the temple. Now we shouldn't be out of control and we shouldn't be doing violence, but have we accepted our culture's definition of right and wrong of morality or have we just been allowed to drift in the direction of what's currently acceptable god's standards haven't changed man's standards change god's don't and i share with you another area and again i am not perfect i have had things that i've done that i just just cannot believe how stupid I was and I've had to repent over things so sharing with you after many many years of life experience regrets and failure but I allow God to move me from glory to glory and strength to strength and it troubles me to see people that name themselves as Christians but aren't distinctive they aren't trying to be a follower they're being compressed 
by the pressures of their partner, by the pressures of a child, by the pressures of the culture to fit in. And if we're allowing other people to dictate who we are, then we're not following God. Hebrews 4.12 tells us that God's word is living and active, that it divides the soul and spirit. It exposes our motives. If you're not in God's word, you're not allowing him to transform you. In Psalm 139, it says that, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Prayer, we tell God what we think. But if we're not listening to his word, if we're not still and letting him speak to us through his word, then we're not allowing the Holy Spirit to expose our attitudes and our prejudices. And we talked about in Jesus' day, there were preconceived notions of what God would and wouldn't do and what the leaders said God would and wouldn't do. And they didn't see the promises of Jesus except for a few who followed him closely and got to know him. So today, allow God to soften your heart. Spend time with him. Discover how he thinks as you seek him through his word. Commit yourself to follow him. If you've never made Jesus your savior, if you've never committed yourself to be a follower of him, and you've made it this far in the message, he is inviting you to follow him, to let him forgive your sins and direct your life and live a, a life of power and positivity and be an influence. If you did know the Lord at one time and your heart has become worn out or dull or just um, unexercised and conformed to the thoughts and attitudes of the world, I'm inviting anyone who wants a different spiritual life, who wants to be connected to God, who wants to be an influencer instead of being compressed by the culture, to be an influencer of salt and light. Pray this with me. Lord Jesus, I repent that I have not followed you, that I've allowed my culture, my own preferences, my own attitudes, my own emotions, drive me instead of following you with my heart and mind and decisions in my daily life. I repent for following my own way, for giving into other people. And I ask you to, to cleanse me, to forgive me, and fill me with your spirit. Help me, Lord, to follow you every day, not just expressing my thoughts to you, but listening to your thoughts for me. And your thoughts for me are of peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is Dr. Tony Cooper. Thanks for listening. If this helped you, check out my other videos on YouTube, my books on Amazon, or check out my website to find out about speaking engagements.